Good afternoon, everybody. I have what we call a four-hour candlestick chart here available. What I would like to point out to you is this is going to be clear. When we had peaked out on Google over here on 2 of 23, we had a high of 854 and a low of 854 and a close of 846. At that point in time, we had the 855 puts. A lot of our guys stuck that out. We had a sell-off down here, and here is a correction mode. The low was 842.96. The low over here on 223, 842.49, meaning that from the rally point with the super hyped up tape after Google had a big down session to right around where the breakout happened when they reported quarterly earnings here in uh, February, it tanked. The buyer stuck right with the stock, came right in on the bad earnings, made these highs. Like I said, this is a four hourly chart. We sold down right here. This is the move that it was. That low was 842.96, and that was where the big reversal happened. On Wednesday, on Wednesday, we bought these put options down here at $12 and some change. And on Friday, and yes, it's a March 17th, 855 put that we owned, and a lot of people stayed in it. And then, of course, the amateurs that told us, oh, I'm scared. I want out. Yeah, they got out and they didn't make a freaking dime. Again, the evidence is clear that from that low to that peak of the high, that that was a big trade on the 855 puts that were taken on Wednesday. And then again, on Friday, weekly expiration, which was yesterday, um, we had a totally different outcome. The equity in itself is on this four hourly candle on Friday. You can we all look at it on a 30 minute level and off of that 843, we went rocketing right back up to 850 and then it cratered and it came back down. We have since repurchased some put options on Google and the put options that we purchased were at their lows on Friday expiration as they were. And we can clearly tell you that the um, 845 put, we got a couple of contracts um, right around 53.9 is the market value. And we only got two of those. We also got two of the Google and these are March 3rd, and then we have a March 10th that we picked up, which is a 847.5 put on Google, period. And one of the things that we're going to say is, is, is that these are the 30-minute charts of what the equity did on exactly uh, Friday of the expiration. When we go back and we take a look at a daily, this was a 52-week high up here. That has not been taken out. I can tell you when Google reported earnings, they dropped down here. And we've gone straight right up here to the peak. And we bought some put options on Wednesday that were working and still continue to work with the short-term trading module that's in place. And it is right here. Here's the true story. And that's on a daily so that you understand that. And then, of course, we'll go back to an hourly, and you can clearly see right here, they came in off of that bottom of 843, and they ended up getting it at, this was the low right here, bam. When we hit that low on Friday, those 855 puts were paying a lot of money, and a lot of our guys, they got out, took their profits, and got back in again. And then some people that don't know what the hell they're doing got in the way, and they lost their freaking profit. Bow.